Hey guys, Kimi here with another birthday video. This time it's for Karen. Who's Karen you may be asking yourself? Why, she's the 30 year old lady with three kids asking to speak with your manager. <laughs> just kidding. She's 19 years old today, child free, and is most likely too anxious to start a confrontation, although she's getting braver with it. Karen's been my best friend for nine years. We met on a fifth grade field trip to Philadelphia where we were put in the same group. I don't remember much except for our weird language arts teacher forcing her to eat my cheesy popcorn. I'm gonna leave it at that. Over the years, a lot of people mistook us for sisters because up until we were 18, I mostly had long brown hair and so did she. Except I had a tendency to come to school with a rat's nest of a head and she was usually well kempt. Although a month before college, I chopped all of mine off, and she dyed hers super dark when she became an edgelord. I'm joking. Karen is a very clumsy person, and that's coming from a clumsy person. Whenever Karen tells me she falls down the steps, it doesn't surprise me. It's literally happened so many times, and the worst injury she's gotten from it is a broken toe. If I ever mention to my parents or Timmy that Karen hurt herself, they say sarcastically, Oh, no, not Karen. That doesn't sound like Karen. She's also an artist, but she never puts her stuff anywhere. She had a deviant art for a brief time and then disappeared off of it. But she's really good at realistic, traditional drawings and paintings. It's always amazing to see her work because when I try to do stuff on physical paper where I don't have good old control Z or control T, my hands don't want to cooperate. Here's a picture she made of Sadie. Here's the original she referenced it from. I think her version actually makes Sadie a little intimidating, which I think Sadie is happy about. I say, I think, because Sadie was scared of the drawing and wouldn't go near it. Me, Karen, and Timmy were in our high school's drama club, specifically tech crew. Karen came to that high school in 11th grade year. During that year, our school was doing the play A Midsummer's Night Dream, without the sex scene, of course. The three of us were tech crew. During one of the final dress rehearsals, all of the tech crew was waiting stage left for the cue to come out for curtain call. One of the actors were supposed to wave us out. Now, because it was a play mainly set in the forest, we used astroturf, like on football fields, to look like grass. There was a large piece of it kind of off stage, like the unused scrap that isn't on stage right by my feet. Karen misinterprets an actor's movement as our cue and yells, Kimi, go! as she shoves me. <laughs> to make matters worse, Timmy comes out and starts announcing, Everyone wait! Kimi fell. Hold on, everyone. Kimi fell. Kimi Cook fell. Kimi Cook, the one that lives at And her social security number is And her deepest fears are Karen hasn't heard the end of it since. She used to not eat when she came over to my house for slumber party, but after almost a decade of my mom force feeding her, she decides not to fight it anymore. I'll probably mention this when my mom's birthday swings around, but something she does when she hears me coughing in the night is come in, wake me up, and usually I apparently don't wake up, and forces me to drink water or coke. This is a habit of hers because when I was younger, I was a sickly, asthmatic kid who used to have coughing fits pretty much every night. One night, according to my mother, she did this to Karen when she was spending the night and coughing in her sleep. She came into my room and basically just trickled water down Karen's throat and Karen doesn't remember it. I don't either, but my mom would talk about it all the time. You remember that time I poured water down your throat while you were coughing? And Karen, all concerned, would be like, uh, no. It's really hard to believe that it's almost been a decade since we've become friends. Karen, I know I'm gonna spam you with this video, so if you watch to this point, you're my best friend, and I love you, and I hope you had an awesome birthday today. I owe you some pizza when I get back in town soon. And to those of you watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you like my content, don't forget to like and subscribe, and feel free to wish Karen a happy birthday. Thanks for coming, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!